Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. A beautiful evening today. How is everyone doing? Sarthak, you have your exam. I was not knowing. Bro, you should study nicely. Focus on your beautiful life. Everything will be fine, dude. Good evening, everyone. A beautiful day today. Is my voice coming to everyone? I hope my million dollar voice is audible and visible to everyone. Let's start this 30 minutes of quick, uh, happy, you know, sessions. And yes, Dr. Shiv, I'm live now. So let's start this beautiful class. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dr. Anand. I have done my MBBS from Rajiv Gandhi University Health Sciences, Bangalore, Karnataka. Then I did my MD in the field of, I think, pediatrics. <laughs> then I did my SRC from Lady Harding and uh, LHMC and uh, Hindu Rao Medical College. Then I became assistant professor. Then I realized that life is really beautiful. Then I realized that uh, everyday living life and feeling positive, that is the only key to success. Who is successful? Successful is the one who enjoys his daily routine. Remember always that, okay? Then only you'll be happy. Uh, we have some teaching experience to UGPG and MRCPCH students around 8 to 10 years. And life is really beautiful. The only aim of these classes is to share good vibes and happy knowledge. Let's start this beautiful class, guys. In the previous segment, <laughs> Dr. Shiv says only 20 minutes class. Don't worry, bro. I'll take it to 9, 10. So it will become 30 minutes. Uh, okay, let's start. So before starting any amazing segment, we always have a motivating quote. And today's beautiful motivating quote is very, very important do what is right do what is right not what is easy a beautiful quote today can we spend 15 seconds on this beautiful important uh, you know good uh, lesson so do what is right not what is easy can you think and tell me what is easy easy is watching a movie on the netflix easy is eating samosas and golgappe and momos and butter chicken and gobi manchurian uh, what is easy easy is doing nothing is easy what what is easy can you answer in the comment section what is easy for you yes easy for you as in <clears throat> it's very cold these days so just being in the blanket and thinking about life thinking about that you are a millionaire you have five amazing cars and doing nothing about it so that is very easy <clears throat> but what is right doing hard work is right doing hard work is right being positive is right being amazing is right right and also being beautiful gorgeous positive happy and crazy about your own life that is exactly right so that's what guys please remember very very important the beautiful quote for today's is do what is right dude not what is easy Think about it and live life happily. Today's topic of choice, we're going to talk about the Tanner staging. In the previous beautiful segment, uh, you know, we spoke about the Tanner staging for the sexual maturity rating for the girls and the boys. We have something known as Tanner staging. In the previous beautiful segment, we had covered the Tanner staging for the girls and now comes the Tanner staging for the boys. The exam entrance question number one will go very happy and very lightly will finish this beautiful, amazing segment. So uh, like question answer, let's play question answer. Question number one, how many grading or how many stages are there in the Tanner staging for boys and girls? The beautiful answer is that there are very, very important uh, five stages or five grading for the Tanner staging. What happens in stage one in the boys? How does the testes and the penis and pubic hairs and all those things, things are beautifully formed? So point number one is nothing. It's very easy. Okay. So number one, like a quick glimpse of a beautiful picture that is the five stages or grading of the Tanner staging for SMR for boys. We have one grade one, grade two, three, four and five. Okay. That's how our penis, our uh, testicular enlargement and our pubic hairs have the, you know, the progress. Now we need to know the exam questions. Okay. Question number one, what happens in stage one or grade one in the stage one for SMR for boys is nothing but pre-pubertal, nothing but pre-pubertal. Please remember the grade one is never a PG entrance exam question and grade five is never a PG entrance exam question. The hidden questions are only there in grade two, grade three and grade four. Remember in the girls also in the previous beautiful segment for the Tanner staging for the girls, 
if you remember we have done same only in the grade one for the girls it is nothing but pre pubertal as in it's just little some enlargement is there pre pubertal changes are there and in the grade five for the female we have the mature breast whereas same for the boys also i'm trying to link and study so that we can remember more so same for the girls also grade one it is pre pubertal changes whereas in the boys also same only dude that is nothing but pre pubertal changes grade one now grade two is very very important in which stage or grade of the smr for the boys we have reddening of the scrotum very important guys this 30 minutes we will try to you know like study in such a beautiful way that imagine you're studying for the last first and last time in your life okay so it's like very easy it's very easy just finish it off here only okay uh, so in uh, question number one in which staging for the smr for boys there is just the red reddening of the scrotum the beautiful answer is which stage yes very good the answer is happy happy stage two now one thing i need to really important like the main exam question very very important in which stage for the smr for boys there is penis penile i would say penile length enlargement and in which stage of the smr for the boys there is penis girth enlargement now these two are exam question my dear friends please pay attention okay i'm i'll repeat again in which part of the smr staging there will be a lengthening of the penis in the boys and in which stage of the smr for the boys there will be penile girth enlargement that the width enlargement in which stage the length enlargement in which stage like this is some some very happy points you must know so bro please remember very very important the increase in the length of the penis basically penile shaft or penis happens in the stage 3 or grade 3 of the smr for the boys whereas increase in the girth of the penis happens in the stage 4 very 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 important machar bahut sare mere kamre mein okay did i hope you understood guys so that's what dude this is what you need to know to the point okay to the point so i'll repeat again exam entrance question number one what is the name of the staging for smr for boys and girls the name of the staging for smr that is sexual maturity rating the name of the staging is tanner's staging tanner staging not tanners but it is tanner t-a-n-n-e-r -N -N so in as we beautifully understood in the grade one or stage one the pre-pubertal changes are there whereas very important stage five what happens like a proper adult type of penis and proper pubic hairs are there and in the stage or grade one just pre-pubertal changes are there but remember grade one and grade five are never the exam questions grade two grade three grade four there are three mcqs mcq question number one in which stage of the smr you have reddening of the scrotum the answer is stage two where you have little scanty hair also at the penile base but reddening of scrotum i must remember and then we have the increase in the length of the penis happens in the stage three of the smr and increase in the girth basically very very important dude that's what and also the darkening darkening of the scrotum happens in the stage four are you understanding has everyone beautifully understood i hope you have understood life is really beautiful these are very important exam questions okay that you should know okay next very very important next important question we have is nothing but identify the instrument what is this instrument can you build sarthak praharaj one of my very dear students is answering very good so can you answer in the comment section what is this is this a, is this a ball game what is it the options are Eurometer or Kaidometer stool assessment tool and growth assessment tool so yes that's beautifully answered by amazing crazy happy students yes you are right the answer is nothing but yes kya forum okay you want to see my forum see this is my biceps okay <laughs> yeah so this is very very important nothing but readers or kaido meter to know the testicular volume my dear friends to know the testicular volume very important uh what you called um, how much testicular volume is there i use an instrument uh, which is very importantly known as readers or kaido meter readers or kaido meter i'll repeat again in the previous beautiful segment i told you that tanner staging for the boys total five grading or five stages are there 
so the penis length and width and everything i've told you one beautiful point we must really appreciate over here is nothing but also in every stage of the smr i'm also checking i'll repeat again in every stage of the smr i'm also checking the testicular volume can you see that it's written over here less than 3 ml 4 ml 10 ml 16 ml and 25 ml so this is important dude this is nothing my this is nothing but my testis ka volume testicular volume i'll be taking the i'll be touching i'll be taking the patient's testis and i'll be comparing it with my readers or kaido meter this instrument is there or dear so this uh, like uh, how much is my is is my testicular volume is matching this matching this or the biggest one and every or kaido meter has a number which number are we talking about this one dear like that's what is it less than 3 ml if in the stage one of smr my testicular volume very importantly the volume it should be less than 3 ml in the stage two, what you call stage this is this is very very important stage one in the stage two it is 4 ml then we have 10 ml 16 ml and 25 ml today only when i was taking rounds uh, my dear uh, we had our dnb students also in their dnb exam this question had come they were asked in the testicular volume also in stage 4 smr how much is the testicular volume expected in the stage 4 smr staging 16 ml of the testicular volume is usually expected okay so 3 ml 4 ml 10 16 and 25 please remember i'll repeat again 3 4 10 16 and 25 what is this ml what of the testicular volume how are you gonna compare it dude i'm gonna compare it with the readers or chidometer checking that whether my patient's respective age and sex is matching with the proper you know uh, uh, baseline or chidometer like the standard or chidometer yes exactly <clears throat> yes dr sarthak Prarar, some book says readers also some book says, says praders also some books says it has two names that's why okay so this is a very very important point you must remember this is nothing but for the measurement of the testicular volume in the boys we have this we use or chidometer and these are the various stages and also this testicular volume is something you must remember next important point let's go further so yes so why this does not look like a euro meter why it is not a euro Euro meter so this this dude this is a euro bag this is a euro meter i want to ask you a random question if i have to discard this uh, urine catheter not a catheter the euro bag if i have to discard this euro bag which what you called uh, uh, bin i should discard it should i discard in the red bin should i discard in the yellow bin should i discard in the blue bin which bin basically can you tell me in the comment section beautiful yes 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 dr sarthak praharaj how are you bro osama shubham kaisa hai tu shubham mere bhai Achha, uh, Manish, bhi aage, Manish is one of our very dear friends. He has come to Delhi. So Karan, Manish and uh, Shubham, we three, four are planning to meet. Okay, great. That's right. Very beautiful. Dr. Amandeep Kaur. Dr. Amandeep Kaur, one of my very dear students of the DPGI batch. I think you are that only Amandeep Kaur, I remember. The cute one. So uh, she's also very right, my dear. All the plastics, all the plastics should go in the red. All the plastic. If I say red rubber catheter, red rubber catheter, where do you want to discard it? plastic like what you called in the red only all the plastics should go in the red like in, in the cannula the cannula wala plastic should go in the red uh, even this euro bag also should go in the red even the red rubber catheter also should go in the red very very important these all things should go in the red can you beautifully answer in the comment section placenta the human parts where should i discard the placenta red yellow blue can you red red yellow blue black where do you want to discard the placenta or any organs body parts any idea yes that's very beautifully put yes where do you want to discard the placenta can you answer in the comment section yes dr grace sharon very very important so yeah that's very well put anatomical waste anatomical waste you put in the yellow one that's very well put anatomical waste basically in our delivery room whenever we have you know what you called uh, uh, deliveries happening and the full placenta comes out so very very important the sister and the gynae people they all put in the yellow bin that you should know very beautiful dr grace beautifully answered by uh, madhuri Gupta, Priya, Pragati, Grace, Praveen, Ritu, Koyal Das, Hanabert, Shiv, Divya, 
kaka kaku manu kaku manu yeah that's right very good very good and why this the why this doesn't look like a, a stool assessment stool uh, uh stool stool assessment stool now again okay, you should be stool assessment tool so stool assessment tool we have a proper chart that is the name of the chart is bristol stool chart bristol stool chart this like basically we have various types of stool you know and it all depends basically i will not pay much attention on this slide but then how we are passing the stool it's a very beautiful slide actually very thoughtful slide how your feces are is, is it like a beautiful sausage shape or it is like in a body called uh, soft blobs or it's like in pieces how exactly this is so this is nothing but bristol stool chart very very important you must know okay can you tell me in the comment section snellens chart i have a very bad habit of linking and studying dr sarthak praharaj snellens chart kahan use hota hai can you answer in the comment section please yes that's right akash very good dr uh, shubham one of my very good very good very good juniors and uh, that's great and uh, thank you everyone we have crossed 25000 followers on youtube and that's because of your love and support and everyone has been just like family and amazing so snellen chart also <coughs> where do you use snellen chart can you answer in the comment section for checking the refractory error for checking the refractory error very very important if i'm not able to see properly you have this that thing is there the dabba that box is there no where you tell me to read the alphabets you know so that only that whole thing basically yeah for the visual acuity to check the refractory errors we have a chart known as snellen snellen chart so if any other chart also you guys remember please answer in the comment section it's all about you know participating we all are like one happy family and we must participate if anyone has any extra knowledge just put in the comment so that we all can be extremely benefited uh, with the good knowledge the only aim of these classes is to uplift the mankind we all have to help each other we all have to uh, pan india we should uplift pediatrics we should uplift a beautiful knowledge so that people can learn from us okay instead of being greedy and selfish it's better to be happy and chilled out <laughs> okay next question please what is the first visible sign of puberty and the hallmark of smr2 in boys and what age does it occur very smart very smart question yes exactly sarthak praharaj says sir i answered first you are a cutie pie very good very good so which is the which is the first visible sign of puberty in boys can you answer in the comment section please first visible sign of puberty basically in boys um, i don't know i'm very confused i know testis is the first one but so when it will come by 9.5 years or 11.5 years can you answer in the comment section please Brrr, yes very beautiful very good evening dr shubhangi late aayo kahan ghumne gayi thi tum kahan late kyun aayo tum hmm late kyun aayo tum kyun kyun aayo late danda kahan hai mera hmm that's very right so please remember okay very beautifully everyone answering c but the happy answer is a okay the first visible sign of puberty basically in boys is testis which comes by 9.5 years 9 and a half years is the important uh, point we must remember if you see in the previous classes also i have spoken about it testicular enlargement by 9 and a half years of life this is the first visible sign of puberty everyone knows the first visible sign of puberty in basically you know kind of uh, what are called uh, testis is the first sign of puberty so i told in the last class the first visible sign in boys is testis enlargement which is nothing but comes under smr stage 2 which begins around 9 to 10 years of life so 9 to 10 being the best answer that you should know let's go further let's go further that finishes this part okay pgi questions beautiful now please Uh, see theoretical knowledge is good but applying it, it in mcqs and applying it in clinical knowledge is the most beautiful thing you can do in your life so what do you think guys the pgi question pgi questions multiple options are correct okay nowadays we don't have pgi exam questions like this but i want you guys to participate in whatever question i ask you what is true about the tanner stage 3 what is true about the tanner's stage 3 very very important uh, okay okay dr shubhangi that's nice ha ji so what is true about tanner stage 3 uh, penis increase in length what do you think is this line true or is this line false so that in the tanner stage th stage 3 for the boys what happens to the penis is there a increase in the length or increase in the girth what do you think guys so in the previous beautiful class we have spoken about it my dear that this one dude that increase in the length basic length of the penis basically happens you must remember in the stage 3 in the stage 3 we have increase in the length of the penis and girth increase happens in stage 4 stage 4 right so that's what so the beautiful answer is 
that's very well put yes in the tanner stage three yes you have the what do you call apna there's a penis increase in the length and penis increase in the girth i'm so sorry that's a false option because penis increase in the girth happens in stage four very very important okay scanty hair at the base of the penis scanty hair skin do you think scanty hair can happen at the base of the penis they use a general knowledge scanty hair i don't think so stage three is like little forward stage no scanty hair again if you go back beautifully in the amazing amazing part scanty hair can we read over here scanty hair at the penis base very very important it happen it happens in stage two stage two stage two stage two okay did you get it yes so that's dude so that's what dude so stage two scanty hair at the base of the penis penis increase in length happens in stage three that's very well put darkening of the scrotum yes beautiful can you answer in the comment section please darkening of the scrotum happens in which stage can you answer in the comment section darkening of the scrotum which stage it happens can you answer yes in the previous again this see this slide has everything this slide has everything okay darkening of the beautiful scrotum happens in the stage four darkening of the scrotum happens in the stage four so again go back and put here so this happens in stage four and more growth occurs in boys than the girls the tanner stage three what happened do you have at the at that stage more growth occurs in boys than girls yes or no so yes so the answer is so we have done that now uh, yeah the answer is true the more growth occurs in boys than the girls darkening of scrotum was stage four scanty hair was stage two uh, width it was there in stage four and penis increase in length it was there in the stage three if you can understand this question then i assume that your topic is over okay it's a very nice topic so this part is very well over that you should know very beautiful question can you answer in the comment section let's see if someone giving the best answer right now i will give you rupees 100 paytm okay grace you message me again i have to send you that money anji if uh, i'll what is the best answer for this question your time starts now i'll take a screenshot what is the best answer the first answer will get a rupees 100 paytm I'll, I'll right away i'll send you just to motivate you nothing else okay but 100 rupees you can I, 100 rupees pani puri and all gonna be very amazing okay so it's good yes 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 can you answer in the comment section please okay yes dr sarthak praharaj that's <laughs> that's very well put dr sarthak praharaj uh, i have a screenshot now dr sarthak praharaj uh, had told the first answer the sequence of changes in the puberty happens in the girls first is the breast development then she has the pubic hairs then we have the growth spurt and the last we have the menses minarche so thilarche followed by pibarche growth spurt and minarche that is the amazing crazy answer for this question so yes very 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 important the answer is this can we please congratulate can we please congratulate congratulate dr uh, sarthak praharaj everyone can we please little motivate him dr sarthak praharaj is one of our uh, very new student these days but uh, he has been in touch with me and he's answering really well so good dr sarthak you win rupees 100 kya karenge aap kya batana chahenge what will you do of rupees 100 i'll give you some options uh, either you can have pani puri or even masala dosa also in masala dosa in, in uh, haldiram it's little expensive you can have tikki you can have dahi balle you can have chaat very good congratulations dr sarthak let's move further let's move further that finishes this class guys in now let me ask you a five random questions a quick random happy questions are you ready yes or no please tell me yes or no so guys yes okay let me ask you some five random happy happy questions of pediatrics and then we can see how much you know where you are standing and you know it'll be fun it'll be fun it will be fun 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 okay let me ask you from neonatology are you ready do you should i ask you five questions oh grace is so nice gracious you can have pan pizza just see i'm so happy very good very good okay question number one the first question on this one is this this is a neonat having some i don't know some random picture is there so can you beautifully uh, let me zoom it for you dude this one this one yes what is this question number one the class will finish in five minutes 30 minutes will be over and then this is the first question guys tell me very very quickly okay uh what is this it's a newborn baby on routine examination there was no fever nothing the cry reflux activity everything was happily normal and uh, what do you think what is this exactly sarthak says sir i will make it into cash and uh divar me the gaunga ose by dr aran sir <laughs> so sweet bro bhagwan tumhe sab kuch de so very good dude what is this 
फोर ब्रेन एनोमली ओके वेरी गुड तू मुझे बाहर मिल जिम के बाहर करन तेरे को मारता हूं मैं सो दिस वन दिस इज अ अम्बलिकस माय डियर इफ यू कैन जूम इन और आउट दिस इज अ अम्बलिकस एंड दिस बेसिकली दिस वन दिस इज अ अम्बलिकल ग्रैनुलोमा प्लीज रिमेंबर या डॉक्टर शिव सेज अम्बलिकल साइड इंफेक्शन ओके बट डियर डॉक्टर शिव दिस लुक्स लाइक अ अम्बलिकल ग्रैनुलोमा व्हाई दिस डज नॉट लुक लाइक अ अम्बलिकल साइड इंफेक्शन आई सेड द बेबी इज नॉट हैविंग फीवर आई सेड ऑन अ हेल्दी बेबी रूटीन एग्जामिनेशन द क्राइ the reflux activity everything was normal just a routine examination this baby basically had a umbilical granuloma this is what you need to know okay i am showing you new pictures so that you know you can get little glimpse of ideas about it let's go to question number 2 the question number 2 let me let me ask you okay okay mm, okay this is one question paper we had of the recent exams can you answer okay let me ask you let me ask you yeah Uh, can you tell me describe the causes and types of hydrocephalus yeah can you tell me any one important cause of hydrocephalus like in the soon uh, exams i'm going to i'm going to discuss uh, mbbs final year question papers also in soon we're going to start that series also if you guys are free please let me know i'm going to start a proper uh, question paper discussion like that so that it will be easy for you my question is name one important cause of hydrocephalus and what are the types of hydrocephalus can you answer in the comment section it's a very beautiful uh, uh, word slide acha thoda acha theek hai okay so bro uh, it's written describe the causes and types of hydrocephalus so you know that we have two types of hydrocephalus can you answer in the comment section yes we have communicating hydrocephalus and the other one is non communicating hydrocephalus i hope you know that right so we have the lateral ventricle third ventricle fourth ventricle that's how the beautiful csf flow any obstruction now this is the i am going to ask you a question i have a lateral ventricle in my brain then i have a third ventricle and then i have a fourth ventricle and i have i hope you know that the lateral ventricle and third ventricle are connected by interventricular foramen of monero number 1 and the third ventricle and fourth ventricle are connected by the aqueductal canal of sylvius aqueductal canal of sylvius my question is my question over here is that if there is a obstruction in the lateral to third or third to fourth ventricle like if i say i have a aqueductal canal of sylvius ka stenosis and that leads to hydrocephalus like the csf accumulation in the lateral ventricle and the third ventricle which type of hydrocephalus is this is this known as non communicating hydrocephalus or is this known as communicating hydrocephalus can you beautifully answer in the comment section i have this question okay anyone anyone yes so we have done that thousand times right who has yes dr priya gupta is beautifully right if i have a obstruction in the lateral ventricle to third ventricle or third ventricle to fourth ventricle if i have obstruction in that pathway that can lead to csf accumulation and that type of hydrocephalus is known as non communicating hydrocephalus and non communicating hydrocephalus i hope you know that it is also known as obstructive hydrocephalus and any problem any obstruction in the base of the brain like a subarachnoid hemorrhage and all that so that dude that will cause communicating hydrocephalus and that is known as non obstructive hydrocephalus a very important point must remember i'll repeat again should i repeat has everyone understood please let me know in the comment section yes or yes 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 my dear dr karan bikram singh uh, from army background a very wonderful person you are and you are very right dude that is a non communicating so i'll repeat again in this beautiful slide we have understood the types of hydrocephalus are communicating and non communicating if the problem is there between the lateral third and fourth ventricle any problem there any csf accumulation there that will be a non communicating hydrocephalus which is also known as obstructive hydrocephalus and if there is a obstruction in the base of the brain or kind of a draining of the csf or something like that following a post hemorrhagic or post trauma that will be a communicating hydrocephalus which is also known as non obstructive hydrocephalus okay question number 3 what is the question number 3 okay the question number 3 is this the beautiful question number 3 is we have is when is my birthday can you answer in the comment section dude when is is my birthday <laughs> this is a very silly question but what do you think when is dr sarthak do you remember anyone you have 3 seconds to answer this is my question when is my birthday that's a very important question guys so okay i'll give you a hint when was COVID, when the covid was declared pandemic 
कैन यू आंसर इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन इन विच ऑन विच डेट द कोविड वॉज डिक्लेयर पैंडमिक द आंसर इज इलेवेंथ मार्च एंड इलेवेंथ मार्च ओनली वॉज माई बर्थ रे दैट्स द मेन पार्ट ओके सो इलेवेंथ मार्च आई वॉज बॉर्न एंड इलेवेंथ मार्च ओनली आई रिमेंबर आई हैड गॉन टू बारबी कनेक्शन विद बूफे विद माई फैमिली एंड वी हैविंग नाइस अला कार विद नाइस बूफे विद नाइस सीख कबाब इट वेरी नाइस सूप्स इवन दैट थिंग इज वेरी गुड ओके दे हैव दिस आलू वाला थिंग डिश इज वेरी सेक्सी सो बट वी गॉड अ न्यूज दैट कोविड इज पैंडमिक बट आई वेंट आउट एंड जस्ट केम बैक क्विकली ओके दैट यू शुड नो नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन येस ओके लास्ट टू क्वेश्चन इज ऑलरेडी थर्टी मिनट्स आर टचिंग इट्स इट्स ओवर द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ब्यूटिफुल क्वेश्चन आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू कैन आई आस्क यू हैप्पी क्वेश्चन येस ओके Uh, this now uh, this is a very good question we have done that previously also but many students were requesting that they want to you know like uh, revise neonatology so aims nicu protocol updates 2022 a 2.5 kg newborn baby born through cesarean section cried immediately after birth on further examination the mother is hepatitis b positive parents are worried about the further management of the baby you are the doctor on duty what is the best management according to you so what do you think guys if i don't uh, <laughs> shubhangi says maine pehle bataya tha yes there is no doubt about it ki aapne hi pehle bataya tha this is the last question guys then this class is over 30 minutes are done what will you write in exam if this question comes now there is nowadays they are asking about this high five questions so 2.5 kg newborn baby cesarean section born cried immediately but the mother is hepatitis b positive if the mother is hepatitis b positive then what do you want to do the options are these are the options there are so many options what do you think guys exactly if the mother is hepatitis b positive and a newborn baby is born then the best answer is you will give hepatitis b vaccine and also immunoglobulin to the newborn very very important that is why this option number b is the best answer you don't give to the mother okay you give to the baby okay uh, are you understanding this is a very important question if the mother is not hepatitis b positive it's a routine normal vaginal delivery then only hepatitis b vaccine will be enough for the baby but whereas if the mother is hepatitis b positive then you will give hepatitis b vaccine on one thigh and hepatitis b immunoglobulin on the other thigh as everyone understood this much yes or yes yes please let me know in the comment section the class finishes here exactly mere dono hai sir uh, bacche ko mere dono hai sir bacche ko main samjha nahi matlab matlab main samjha nahi teri baat ko dear that finishes this class thank you so much everyone for this beautiful participation and before leaving we always have a beautiful amazing quote so what is the quote for today where is the quote for today the beautiful quote for today is this take risks in your life take risks in your life if you win you can lead if you lose you can guide a very beautiful quote guys that class finishes here please remember that to take risk in your life okay take risk if you win you can lead if you get a rank 1 or rank 1 you can tell the students you know how i got a rank 1 i was working very hard i did smart work also i did a very nice schedule i made a schedule and and i religiously followed it so if you win you can actually lead that's very nice but if you lose you can guide are you understanding both ways is is help only if you lose you can guide the students na that uh, you know i was not very serious you know i was i was i have got distracted a lot actually i made a very long long uh, time tables i should have made a quick and a short time tables and would have worked hard every day i should solve at least 50 mcqs and then increase it to 75 increase it to 100 right so that's what take risks in your life if you win you can lead and if you lose you can guide Thank you so much, everyone, for this beautiful participation. Tomorrow, let's see again. Let's meet up at eight thirty p.m. tomorrow, and tomorrow's evening class will be held on our beautiful pediatrics by Dr. Anand app. You are most welcome there. All the videos are right now. It's free and uh, enjoy, chill, just breathe, okay? And uh, thank you. Has everyone understood? Great, Akash. Thank you so much. Uh, we have Kumavat. Yes, that's nice. Very good. Koyal, Karan, Sushmita, Madhuri, Osama, and beautiful, amazing people. Life is beautiful. Take care and bye bye. कल आ जाना याद से ठीक है मुंह बना के नहीं आना खुश हो के आना ठीक है